Good morning, everybody. It is two days, I think, since you last saw me when we went to Tennessee and did some rock flipping. Um, yesterday, I cruised the Sand Hill region of central Georgia all day long for two snakes, both of which got off the road before we could catch them, a racer and a coach whip. But I'm out today, closer to home. Um, the weather seems a little bit better today. We've got some nice drifting cloud cover, which is always a good thing when you're road cruising especially day cruising but anyways i'm just going to drive back and forth on a kind of a mosaic of dirt and paved roads throughout the day and uh, just watch for snakes crossing the road it's one of the less exciting ways of herping but on the right days it can be incredibly productive for some of the most rare species around here so that's what i'm going to spend today doing i'm um, probably going to take a break midday when it gets hot it's supposed to get up to about 86 today which is a little bit too warm if the sun's out uh, but if we've got good cloud cover, it'll be good all day long. It's late morning at this point, so I will keep you guys updated if I see anything. All right, well, it's about 1130, and I just cruised my first snake of the day. Look at this guy. I think this is actually the first one of these I've seen this year. This is a beautiful little rough green snake. Look at this man. What a handsome little snake. I'm going to take some pictures real quick. What a cute little snake. Love seeing green snakes, and I don't see them nearly enough. Really awesome. Most of the time when I do see them, though, it's at night when I'm out looking for turtles. I see them in the trees sleeping. So it's always a treat to get to see them during the daylight hours doing their thing, like this guy. Just slowly making his way across the road. Pretty cool. Anyways, it's a start. It's more snakes than I was expecting to see today, and already more snakes than I saw yesterday. So I'll move them off the road and keep cruising. Beautiful little rough green snake to start the day. Go on. Go on. What an awesome little snake. Gone just like that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That is the first Eastern King Snake I have ever cruised alive in my home area. Holy crap. You have got to be kidding me. That is so insane. It's beautiful too. Look at this little guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> well that makes it 100% worth getting out today. That is amazing. Right after the green snake too. I mean the green snake was just around that corner down there. Holy crap. That is amazing. And such a handsome snake too, absolutely beautiful. I think this is like the third Eastern King snake I have ever road cruised during the daytime. And I mean years, I spent years growing up here road cruising these roads. I never found one on the road before today in this area. Absolutely insane. But needless to say, the snakes are moving, so I'm just gonna get some quick photos of this guy, move him off the road, and uh, keep cruising. Well, snakes are definitely moving, so I'm just gonna make sure this guy stays out of the road, and I'm gonna get back to it and see what else is out. Really awesome. My third ever road cruised Eastern King snake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about seven o'clock this afternoon. I went and got some food, relaxed a little bit, and I'm back on the road hoping to see some more snakes. So as usual, I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. The weather could not be nicer. I'm really hoping that tonight's gonna be our first good night of night cruising for the year. And if not, well, that would suck, but it feels pretty good, so I'm excited. Well, there is my first snake of the day, or of the afternoon, I guess, and it is a beautiful little corn snake. This one is not getting off the road though. That is so cool. Just chilling too. Awesome, the road's nice and warm to the touch. The air's nice and warm still. Absolutely awesome, great way to start the night. I'm gonna take some pictures of this guy real quick and then we'll move him off the road. Alrighty, well, beautiful little corn snake. They're, this one is actually surprisingly dark. Uh, a lot of the ones around here are fairly dark, but this guy's real dark. Either way, really handsome looking snake. I really love the look of the corns around here and they're not terribly common either. I only see a couple each year, so really great way to start the night. Thinking about biting there. 
anyways, I'm going to walk this guy over there to the woods and release him over there by those pine trees. And we're going to keep moving, see what else we can turn up. Really great way to start the night, though. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yep, there it is. All right, bro. I don't know what you hope to accomplish with that, but, I mean, power to you, I guess. All right, buddy. Nice little Piedmont pine forest you call home. Go on, stay out of the road. All right, guys, our first snake after dark is this really handsome little brown snake. This guy's beautiful. Really cool slaty gray coloration on him. Doing a little bit of tongue flicking here. Guess looking, either trying to find a mate or looking for food one, but really handsome little brown snake. Really cool. Anyways, I'm just gonna escort this guy off the road and keep moving. Hopefully there'll be more snakes out. All right, guys, next snake of the night that just narrowly avoided becoming a road pancake from the car behind me. A really nice little juvenile gray rat. Anyways, these guys tend to be pretty common on the roads at night. I'm kind of surprised it took us this long to see one this year. This snake was probably born in the fall and is uh, experiencing his first springtime right now. So I'm just going to escort him off the road and let him get back to his business. But really good looking little gray rat is our next snake of the night. It's getting kind of late at this point. It's been a while since I saw anything. So either way, I'm going to keep at it for a little bit longer and hopefully something cool will pop up. All right, guys, I'm currently making my way back home. There's a bunch of gray tree frogs calling over there, but I stopped for this big guy in the road because I thought it might have been a barking tree frog. It's not. It's a green tree frog, but still really cool to see. Uh, these guys are actually fairly uncommon around here. I don't see them very often, so it's definitely a treat when I do. This guy's got a really weird black eye on that side. If you look at this side, that's what their eyes are supposed to look like. Super strange. Good morning everyone and happy May. I think this is the first video I'll be recording in the month of May here in Georgia. The last couple of days I've either been out of town on a road trip or recuperating from said road trip and editing videos. But I'm back at it today. Uh, it's nice and cool today. The high is only around 70 degrees. We got bluebird skies, but we've had a ton of rain since I've been gone. Um, you can see there's a bunch of flood debris on this road I'm walking just from where there was water flowing through here. So it should end up being a decent day to find some snakes. Uh, I'm only gonna get out for about half a day today and then I'm going to have to do some personal stuff. But for the time being, I'm gonna walk around out here, maybe flip a little tin and see what all I can find. It feels really hognose snaky today. That's what I'm really hoping to see. Uh, I know they're in this area, so. Huh, creepy one-eyed squirrel. What a great way to start the day. That is absolutely terrifying for some reason. My God. This is weird, but also kind of confirms my suspicions today would be a good day for a hognose. There's just a little fowler's toad coming out of a hole to do daytime stuff. What on earth? What you doing, buddy? Just chilling? Doesn't seem even slightly concerned about my presence, but either way, I think this is the first herp I've shown today, a little fowler's toad. I've seen a couple of race runners and things skirting around, but uh, other than that, first herp I've seen. No snakes yet. Look at this guy. Big eastern fence lizard doing push-ups. Do more push-ups. What's up, dude? He's absolutely chilling. Want to do any more push-ups? No. Good morning, everyone. It's actually afternoon at this point. I've been cruising for a little bit. Um, but I decided I wanted to do a little bit of day cruising today. The weather isn't really conducive to much else. It's sunny, so there's not much to be done flipping-wise. Everything's really hot. Uh, but snakes will be crossing the road, hopefully. 
Um, if not in crazy numbers, we'll at least see a few things, I hope. So anyways, I'm gonna be driving around today and I will keep you guys updated on how this goes. This is going to be the first video back in Georgia for the month of May. And uh, realistically, I'm probably not going to be making that many videos here in Georgia this May because I'm going to be traveling a lot. Later this week, I'm going to Florida for a couple days. And then after that, I'm flying to Colorado to hang out with Graham and Herp in some new states I've never been to before. So try to at least get one video out between the Missouri and the Florida trip though. So hopefully here in the next couple days, we'll be able to find some snakes. There's my first snake of the day. Very nice. Rat snake, whoa, chill out, dude. Come here, come here, dude. What on earth? Dude, how's it going? What's up? This road has turned out to be really good. I really never cruised it until this year. It doesn't get any traffic because it's a dead end. And uh, I found snakes on it just about every time I've driven it. And now I just smell like rat snakes, so that's awesome. But either way, it looks like this guy had a pretty rough shed recently and that's why he's got that weird crinkling on his scales. But either way, nice sub-adult, small adult rat snake here to start out the day. I really was not sure what this guy was in the road at first because he was such a weird size and he's got a stub tail. So I kind of thought it was like a weird skinny hog nose at first, but nope, it's just a rat snake. I don't know where he's going. I want to make sure he goes that way and not back into the road. Well, the road cruising could have been worse. We actually found a snake, which is never a guarantee around here, um, day cruising at least. Uh, but today's one of those days where it's just a little bit too warm to really be effective hiking weather and flipping weather but it's a little too cool to be good night cruising so once it starts getting dark it's going to cool off super fast and there probably won't be much out so i'm going to try to do an afternoon flip here at the house and see what all is using the tent today if anything um hopefully hopefully we'll at least see something so started with these i wouldn't be shocked if we don't see anything today but we've had a lot of rain recently so i'm Optimistic we'll see something. It's way too warm in the sun, but a lot of my stuff is shaded this time of year because of the amount of tree leafage that has come out over the last couple weeks. Make sure that a lot of this stuff does stay nice and relatively cool. So, it's a nice scorpion. A couple of these guys today. There's another one up there. Get off of there. Get off. Even more on that layer. Look at that. Tons of them. And nobody down at the bottom. No snakes in here today, just scorpions. So I go to put the tin down. I don't know if he was in the layer or if he came out of the leaf litter or what, but right here is a nice red bellied snake. Very nice. This thing is super fat and healthy. Looks like it might even be a gravid female. These are very small snakes, so, I mean, this is a reproductive adult at this size. What a great looking snake, though. Super glad she's using this 10 stack. I think this is a different black phased red bellied snake than the one we saw here earlier in the year, too. You can kind of see they're on her rear end. The red kind of comes up a little bit from the belly. Let's see if we can get her to. There we go. Look at that. These are such underrated snakes. Let's see, look at that belly. That was amazing. All right, beautiful. Well, we'll put you back. Sorry to disturb your chilling out. All right, last pieces for the day. Nobody under there. Nobody under there. Oh, skink. Just chilling. Looks like a gravid female. Might end up laying her eggs under here. That'd be cool. Today was kind of sucky. The weather wasn't the best, but we did end up finding at least a couple snakes and uh, planning on getting out tomorrow too. So I guess I will check in with you guys then. Good morning, everyone. It is a much warmer day today. It's gonna get up to about 85 
but uh, hopefully we'll have some cloud cover building here this afternoon. And the main thing I really wanted to do is night cruise tonight, but I am gonna do a little bit of morning cruising. It's mid-morning right now, and uh, I'm really hoping that there will be some snakes out today. It feels pretty good, it feels a lot like the day. I had a lot of success uh, about two weeks ago. So I'm gonna be driving around this morning, then I'll take a little break, edit videos uh, midday, get some food, and then get back out here again in the afternoon. So anyways, I'm gonna get to it, and I will keep you guys updated if I see anything interesting. Oh, my back. Ah, I just really hurt my back. But it was for a good reason. I just cruised a coach whip in North Georgia. <laughs> that is the first one I've ever road cruised here. Ah, oh, that's amazing. This is a new county, too. This is a county record coach whip. Holy crap. Yes. So just so you can see how big this snake is, he stretched out on my hood, relatively chilled out. I have thorns so deep in my fingers. I literally had to sprint into a pile of briars, dive over it and grab this guy out of a tree before he went up out of reach. But oh my God, just look at that. Second coach whip of the year in North Georgia. <sighs> Never gets old. Even where they're common, these snakes never get old. But I don't think I could ever get tired of the excitement I get when I see one of these snakes here in North Georgia. I mean, that is just amazing. And in a completely new place for me, we're not too far as the crow flies from where I've found two before, but we are in another county. What a majestic beast this is. I've said it three times already, but it will never get old. I'm shaking, covered in briars, bleeding out of my toes, and just, I could not be happier right now. That is amazing. But since snakes are moving, I am gonna make my time with this guy relatively brief, and we're gonna go see what else we can turn up. This guy is a little bit bigger than that one we found last month and does not have quite the attitude, um, but he gave me much more of a chase. I mean, I saw him cross the road. I thought it was a racer. I didn't even realize it was a coach whip at first. And I realized he started to go up a tree when he got off the road and I saw that tan tail and I freaked out. I think I hurt my back getting out of the car and then falling when I got out of the car. And then once again, when I tried to catch him and lunged myself into the bushes. But oh my God, that is amazing. What a beautiful snake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to let this beautiful snake go. I've taken a ton of pictures, hopefully been able to capture just how awesome this animal is. I mean, look at that. Just an absolutely absurdly beautiful snake, as always. So we're gonna let this guy go and get back to cruising and see if we can turn up anything else. This is always one of the most fun parts about catching a coach whip is letting it go and seeing just how fast they get away. All right, everyone, I am back at it. It's late afternoon at this point. Um, it's starting to cool off a little bit, but mostly just because the sun's not shining as directly on the road. But I'm heading out to some roads where I turn up timber rattlesnakes fairly often, and there should be plenty of other cool stuff out there too that I just haven't found yet, like hog noses, pines, coach whips. Um, pretty much all the stuff we look for over here, but there's also timbers in that area. So I'm gonna go cruise that area tonight and this afternoon into tonight, I guess, and uh, see what all I can turn up. All right, just cruised our first snake of the night, and it is a diurnal brown snake. Just uh, chilling out before it's even dark outside. Big, too. Look at that. All right, snakes are out. I'm just going to escort this guy off the road and see what else we can turn up. It seems like whenever I cruise these guys, they're always so much bigger than the ones I find, uh, like, undercover and stuff. Super strange. All right, guys, there is our first night cruise copperhead of the year. What's up, dude? Pretty nice looking, too. He's really faded. Doesn't have much color to him. Vipers are moving, though. I'm going to keep cruising. We're in an area that could have pygmies, and oh, and they do like to move this time of year. So I'm going to keep at it and see if we can get one. Go on, go on. 
There you go. Apparently it's gonna be one of these nights. But she's handsome. Look at that. Really red little brown snake. I saw another one that I didn't get a video of too. Um, it was a really high traffic area. This beetle is really having a hard time with life right now. But anyways, third brown snake of the night. Didn't didn't uh, get any video of the other one because there were cars everywhere. So I just threw them off the road. But three of these guys so far. All right, guys, I'm currently heading in for the night. I'm not sure if we're going to see anything else. I've got a little bit of a drive, but uh, if I see anything, I'll stop. But if not, I might end up wrapping up this part of the video here. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to head to Florida, and I might stop. It just depends on what time I get going. I might do a little bit of herbing in Georgia on my way down. So I might throw that in at the end of the video here. You can see there's lightning in the distance. It's just been a perfect weather night. I really don't understand why we didn't see more than we did. I think a lot of it has to do with the logging that's been going on out here. Uh, a lot of the roads that I normally cruise are being clear cut for timber. Uh, 